Dozens of major studies have been published in the last few years that indicate that the chemicals in cannabis, in the lab and in animals, have a significant effect on fighting almost all major cancers, including brain, breast, prostate, lung, thyroid, colon, skin, pituitary, melanoma, and leukemia cancers. They do this by promoting the death of cancer cells that have forgotten how to die, as well as a reduction in their crucial blood supply while leaving healthy cells untouched. Here we have this one drug that's able to help us holistically with our biochemistry to restore balance. You know, cannabinoids kill cancer cells in many cases. People are not aware of that. They think cancer, cannabis, anti-nausea. For outstanding achievement, please give a warm hand to Dr. Christine Paoletti. Hi, I'm a lens doctor, and they picked me to uh, give him this special Stony Award. And I'm um, really proud of him. I think he's done such an incredible job. The movie was so complicated, I had to listen to it twice. And uh, what's really sad about what if can cannabis cured cancer is that it probably does. <laughs> and we've wasted a whole lot of time just not pursuing the study of cannabis in the cannabinoid system. So um, without any more talk, I want to present uh, Len. Len Richmond, award. everyone. Len Richmond. Hello. Well, <clears throat> oh, thank you. Well, I always thought that the message of marijuana was to relax and enjoy the moment, which I think is just fine. But in working on this film, I realized it's so much more. And if I can borrow a phrase from the LAPD, marijuana is here to protect and to serve. Endo. Thank you. Endocannabinoids inside your body beat the shit out of cancer cells. And when you smoke cannabis, it's like sending in reinforcements. So, um, Anyhow, I just also want to say I think this is like, I think we're a really wise and wonderful group of people. And I'd like to invent a new name for us. I think we're the marijuanans. Okay? Good. All right. Thanks very much.